you're good now. Phil Sheridan said, yo, Ryan, when are you going to stop letting Uncle Abe lose every session? Uh, he actually wins what is it? a respectable amount of sessions. He won, I think, over 4,000 on Thursday. I think he was the second biggest winner, or on Tuesday, rather. He won 30K in a Friday game once, okay? Not many people have done that. Not many people outside of Garrett, Art, and Nick have... And Dan Zach have won 30K in a Friday session, so respect that. Hey, you got C4. Uncle Abe gets it done. Pocket Queens for Lynn, and she has the best hand. Let's see if Hu Shang bluffs at it. He's got Queen 8, and he called the raise preflop, and he is going to bet with it. Bluffs the Queen 8. Hot size bet gets called. Turn is a queen. Full house for Lin. She checks again. Hu Sheng checks back. She expects that Hu Sheng is going to continue with uh, all of his ace X hands, but he does not have that as he checks back the turn. And so now she has to pick a size that's going to get called in the river. By hand, that's not an ace. Uh, the overbet. So now she's betting to get called by an ace, and he folds the queen, and that's where you just have to really think it through of what your opponent has. If Hu Sheng checks back the turn that quickly, does he have an ace? Probably not. If he does, then yeah, you can overbet and get called. He's never folding trips. But the fact that he checked it back, he probably has some sort of smaller pair. Queen happens to be the best hand he could have. Lynn's going to three bet the kings. And uh, Jamie defends with 9 7 of spades, flops top pair back to flush draw. He's probably going to come along here. Wow, and Jamie with a snap raise 70 to 200. And now Lynn has to figure out what does this mean. She's going to be ahead here most of the time. Jamie has to have pocket sevens or a four here to be ahead. Turns a five. That completes some gutters. But that's about a little over half pot here, 350. There's just no reason to fold here if you're laying with pocket kings. Jamie's going to give up a lot in the river. He could think that he's protecting some over pairs. Could have five six. I have such a good hand. I've never folded this hand in my life. Why wouldn't you? You've never folded in your a life? Non-pair. <laughs> it's. If you had a better hand than me, you would have called, right? No. I folded a better hand than that. I'm sorry. I just figured you'd never fold an over pair. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, I apologize. You think I thought I was bluffing? Last one here. You think I thought I was bluffing? No, I knew you had a four. Yeah. Lynn is in shock. She doesn't even know what to say. I gave you credit for a four. Wow. Lynn is speechless. Jamie Gold, classic Jamie Gold, talks Lynn into folding pocket kings. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Nice. I didn't think that. If I thought you had an overpair, I read it wrong. I would never bet. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Are you going to give lessons the whole night? Holy shit. She doesn't need any lessons. Lynn just fell into the Jamie Gold trap. Classic Jamie. Jesus Christ. They're already talking on the. You know what? I'm going to fucking murder. Holy shit. What happened? Don't even worry about the chat, man. Oh no, you can. Yeah, you cannot. 
And that was not a... That's okay, don't worry about it. Meme is playing, it's not your fault. You don't need to apologize, by the way. Jamie is saying he misvalued his hand. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mean Joe Blue on Twitch says, I love the Jamie act. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant to let you win. Lynn putting in the three bet with pocket aces to 240, and we got Sticky Rice in a hand. He has only played one hand so far tonight before this. Defends with Queen 10 suited, flops a flush draw against Lynn's top set. And we're going to see action. We could see all the money go in here. <laughs> I feel intimidated. Sticky Rice could jam all in here. Could just call. Could put in a smaller check raise. <laughs> and he's going to use those fins to pick up chips and throw them in. Makes the call. Turn is a four of spades. Gives Sticky Rice a flush against Lynn's top set. And Sticky Rice with a nice lead on the turn. Lynn only has 1,200. She has about 750 back. She makes the call. And the river is a four. It pairs the board. Flush versus full house. Lynn is loving this. Sticky Rice is going to bet 600, which is a little bit less than her all in. And she's all in for 150 more. And there it is. Pocket aces for Lynn. The river pairs the board. $3,300 pot for Lynn against Sticky Rice. Both players played it pretty well. Just a rough one for Sticky. Got himself in a bit of a sticky situation. Good one. Right on the button. If I didn't say anything, would you have called? 
No, it is a jack. Just do it in the truth. This is a jackpot, right? No fun. Subscribe now for unlimited access to over a thousand episode strategy videos, nineteen ninety nine a month. Check it out, free week, use the promo code poker. Subscribe at live at the bike dot com. Got a fifty dollar bomb pot here. Nine players are gonna go to the flop. And as usual, someone always has a big hand, it seems like. Mello with pocket queens. Well, a fifty dollar flop, but <laughs> but free, really. But if you're Jamie Gold, fifty dollars is free. I'll buy some of these action right now. Ooh, top set. Oh, we're playing it out. For DJ Melody. Oh, okay, I got it, got it, got it. Okay. Gonna be tough for anybody else to win the hand. How has no one taught you about what bomb pots are? No, I thought we were. Quads for DJ Melody. Check. Check. Wow. Did you say check or check? Checks it again. <laughs> I feel like someone just got caught. Blue hundo. Sure. Jamie's gonna bet, and Lynn's gonna raise with a flush draw, and Jamie is, or Melody rather, is sitting here with quads. How does he play it? And just puts in the call. If I have three queens in my hand, I'm going to go all in. Three queens in your hand? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll call, we'll I don't have four. it. I don't have it. I don't have it. Okay, bump up is done, right? And if Lynn <laughs> makes a flush in the river, it's going to be bad news for her. She does not. King high is what she has. And she has to know here that Melody has at least a queen. Oh, and he's going to lead now after cold calling the flop. Why does this keep happening to me? Where I show up on a river with a hand that I can't call that way. Hmm. Cold called the turn with quads. I have a four, but I'll stop wasting everyone's time. I Lynn, sorry, doesn't have king high, but she has a, a four, rather. And uh, she is yeah, going to lay it down. Yeah, he called. And I'm like, what is going on here? Yeah, I figured once he called. You know, that's what I do for a living. <laughs> going once, going twice. That's what I do for a living. Oh, going once, twice. You're dressed like it. Oh. How much it Here are the stats. EJ Melody now the big winner. Up about 1,300. Uncle Abe's up. Lynn's up. Drew's up. And Wino and Sticky Rice both down over 1,000. Lynn versus really Ron. Open ender for Israeli Ron, top pair for Lynn. And they both somehow check? No, Ron is going to bet. And Lynn's going to go for value right away this time. She check called her top pair last time and didn't get any value on the Turner River when she had an ace. And Ron had a flush draw, so now she's going to check raise. And Ron makes the call. She can get called by a lot of hands here. A lot of straight draws, worse queens. Turn is a four. That gives Ron a pair. 
So she really only loses the 5 8 here. She shouldn't be losing to any other hands. And, you know, when you only have, it looks like Ron uh, added on, actually. So I want to say Ron added on a 1,000 here. So it looks like he can call 600 here, and they'd have, both have about 17, 1,800 back. So it would be about pot left. It would be right around pot left. And Ron lays it down. Is that better for you or better for me? For me? Okay. Probably. Well, that's fun, huh? You've done it before? Not the crazy ones, no. I've done a long time for me, but it's been a lot of fun. Taking my family. Oh, that's sweet. I gotta go home and pack. Your kids? Yeah. How old? Yeah, I packed it in too. Nine, eight, and four. You're just going solo, though, right? No, me and my husband. Oh, okay, okay. Those are easy. Yeah. Put some kids in the mix in there. Yeah, nine, eight, and four. Uh, my 20, right? Yes, thing ever. Nine, eight, five. four. Yeah, that's a five group. kids. Yeah. Five kids. Wow. Yeah. My oldest is 35. My youngest is only 13. Oh wow. That's quite the, uh, the aging. Two people for the next all of them. I'm 62, so I'm pretty old at this point. Our food has arrived, <coughs> Jamie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. That's just you. My friend Tommy is here. Socialize. Hundred. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Got it. Okay. Oh shit. Hundred. Huh? If the three comes, I never. Yeah, I don't put you on that. Right. Three-way pot. Yeah, well. We don't know what Wino has yet, but Jamie with king ten, Lynn with fives, and the flop is. An open ender for Jamie and bottom set for Lynn. And Wino is going to bet. Probably an underdog no matter what she has. Jamie's going to fold the open ender. So he calls with King 10 the swallow line and just folds to one bet with an open ender. Very surprising. And now Lynn with bottom set puts in the raise. Let's it go. Lynn takes it down. Jamie Gold, the champ, raising it up with ace 10. Sticky Rice in there with ace 8 of diamonds. Everybody calling. Oh no. Six way pot. Maybe. Seats one to six are all in. Gutter for Melody with the back door flush draw. Bottom set for Lynn. She has yet another set. And nobody with a king, nobody with spades. Lynn's going to bet her bottom set. And I don't see anybody continuing. Maybe Melody with a gutter. Now, Maybe right? Jamie with the backdoor oh, wow. flush draw. 2,000 high. Okay. Is Ron calling with queen high here? Whoa. Is really Ron floating <laughs> with queen high? No backdoor <laughs> flush draw. Yeah, poor Lynn. She's like, what the <laughs> Whoa, and we got Ron to call. And did, did Jamie call too? Yeah, Jamie called too. So we got Jamie's in there as well. He now has the nut flush draw. 
Ron picks up a gutter, so we gotta back it up and get Jamie in there. There it is. And now it looks like Jamie is going to lead here with the nut flush blocker. And Lynn is going to just call it like it. Oh, Ron hasn't looked yet. That's why he called the flop. Okay. So Ron called the big blind, called the flop without looking. And now he has a gut shot, but no spade. And a full house for Lynn, and Jamie's going to check. F quick fold from Jamie. Yeah, I think Lynn can bet, like, fairly big there in that spot. Uh, when Jamie just calls and then leads, like, he has a lot of hands in the river. He has a lot of flushes. He might have a king. He might have a nine randomly in check. I don't know why, but... If he doesn't have those hands, he just has complete air. There's not really any medium strength hands that he could have, so you don't really need to bet small. You can just bet big and just hope that he has one of those really good hands. Or maybe I just have the best. Like, there's a lot of spots yeah. where somebody's hands. line indicates that they have some sort of medium strength often, hand, yeah. and it's a run out where you can have a lot of medium yeah. strength hands. But then there's some yeah, spots yeah, where they either just have a pretty strong hand to call, or they just have trash, like Jamie did. And in those spots, you can just bet big and hope. But in the spots where you just can't have a big hand, then you have to bet smaller if you want to get value. So you got to be aware of those things, of what the lines mean, what he could possibly have that makes sense. Lynn with Ace King. She's picking up a lot of big hands today. I also, yeah, that's a good point. No more chips. <laughs> Jamie's gonna limp call. He's eight. You get lucky, and I pull the best hand. I guess. Kings, yeah. <laughs> And Lynn's still the best hand top pair. Lynn, the big winner tonight so far, up 2,700. 
We got a bomb pot here, a $50 bomb pot. Ron has a 10. Mello has trip jacks. And Lynn with pocket kings. Hu Shang with a flush draw. It's a couple. So Hu Shang folds his spade flush draw, and Ron is going to come along with a 10. He's pretty much drawing dead. Turn is a king. Full house for Lin. She gets there. What a turn card. Ron with an open ender. DJ Melody with trips. And now DJ Melody is going to check. This is a $50 bomb pot. So there's no information on preflop play to help these players. The run good for Lynn is continuing. Ron makes the call. And Melody makes the call as well. Oh, the nine on the river. Now a straight for Israeli Ron. The flush, backdoor flush gets there. Somebody can easily have a queen here when it's three ways. DJ Melody with trips. 2,200 in the pot. What's Lynn going to do? The effective stacks are a little over pot. And Lynn shoves all in. Can Israeli Ron get away from it? What can Lynn have in the spot? Ron should know that he's chopping at best here. He has a 10 of hearts, so it's unlikely that somebody has... A flush. So the question becomes, is he chopping or is he losing to a full house? It is a bomb pot, so anybody can have anything in this spot. Ron got himself in a pickle when he called the flop. And he makes a good fold. Great fold by Israeli Ron. Now DJ Melody has to get away from it. And it should be easier for him. He loses to full houses, he loses to flushes, he loses to king-queen, he loses to queen-jack. And Lynn's going to take this one down. She's now up 4,200. Alright, so you're, it's 20 on you automatic, and now you can put 40. You're going 80? I'm not telling you to. I'm just asking. I'm not, I'm not pushing for that. It is fun. Then it's going to be my decision, right? Of course. Double straddle. I mean, straddle. 80, nice. Anybody going 160? 
Whoa, we got a triple straddle, six blinds, 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, 1, 60. You heard that right. 5, 10, 20. Lin put 40. Hu Shang put 80. Is really wrong with the triple straddle to $160. Pocket kings for Lynn. She just keeps getting the big hands. She's in the 40. We got, we got a better game now. She makes it 640. We got action. 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, 160. And Hu Shang's all in with Queen 10 for 1,500. <laughs> Hu Shang puts in the 80 and shoves with Queen 10. Play along, or what do you guys got? What do, what, what do you two have? No? An all in and a call. Lynn with Kings. <laughs> and it is not going to happen for Hu Shang. Nope. And Lynn wins with Pocket What's Kings. That? How do you. I ran hotter today for the race ever. Flopped a set of aces, turned like a full house of Kings. Lynn is getting all of the hands and stacks up more chips. She's up to 7,900 now. She is up almost 5,000. No, she's in for 2,000 actually. She's up almost 6,000 now. About 5,900. No problem. I do not. Yeah, because once I'm making a blind call for 50, he can call for 50, you can call for 50. Yeah, still in turn. I hope it comes this time and it gets, gets ruined. Yeah, here it comes. How about a jackpot on a bomb pot? That would be great. Great. I think it'd be easier for that would be Bonghoff, right? Because, like, we're all playing. It is. There's a lot of possibilities, more possibilities. Okay, guys. Right. Think positive and will it. Yeah, just exactly. You have to will it. Aren't you the one with the power to do that? Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, we're just zoned in. New guy in seat far that in seat four that is Mark. He is from the the United Kingdom. He's British. He's been on the show at least once before. He wore a shark hat on the show once. This was probably like I don't know two years ago. Okay, now we got sticky rice with sticky rice with pocket aces. Hopefully, this one's right. And Lynn's gonna three bet pocket jacks. So we're hoping these graphics are correct. Aces for sticky rice, jacks for Lynn. Yeah. So he's good. It, his accent. Wait, I want to hear his accent and also guess. All in. All you can eat. Alright, once or twice? One time. One time. One time for the one time. One time for the one time. Alright, you got What do you got? What do you got? One time, aces versus jacks. Can Sticky Rice hold for the double? Oh, I'm Free flop. You have aces? Yeah. And oh, the jack on the river. Are you kidding me? Lynn does it again. We need more Fs in the chat. <laughs> Lynn does it again with the jack on the river. She is just running hot. Wow. Sticky Rice just cannot run good and live at the bike anymore. I think we're actually allowed. Yeah. Allowed to what? 
I think we're allowed to play with some of our home. So Mark and I are friends. We 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 play really fun games together. Yeah, yeah. Really. Um, so. Sixty. What do you think the producers would say if you made everyone do five shots before the uh, before the game starts? That is such a good oh idea. I think that'd be really good. I would be so drunk after two. That, that I'd be ripped drunk. Action I'm so two. lightweight. Yeah. Sixty. <coughs> and it wouldn't be I don't think I can get away with that. But I was talking about like River Red and the Survivor game and the Button game. And Survivor's great. You got to vote somebody off. Double it up. Double it. One twenty. Might spice up the spice up the show. We should we should pitch it to them. All right. You know, I'll always try. Really? Drew with Pocket Kings. He's going to three bet it, and he's got two callers. He, he went for the small 120 three bet from the open to 60. And top set for Drew on a dry board. A gutter backdoor flush off is really wrong. We don't know what Lynn has. And it checks through. Turn is a jack, so still a dry board. No flush draws. We call it a badoogie board. Drew with top set. He's going to bet out 200 into 370. It's really Ron out of position. Tough to call here. Ron's going to float with a gutter. He can only hit a four to win. Oh, and the four in the river. Are you kidding? The nuts for Israeli Ron. The second nuts. Top set for Drew. Nuts versus second nuts. And they have over 4,000 behind. There's only 770 in the pot. We can expect all the money to get in here one way or the other. Israeli Ron's going to lead 600. What a river. Are you kidding? Israeli Ron floating out of position with a gutter and rivers the nuts against top set. Make it 1,600. A raise from Drew to 1,600, and here comes the Hollywood from Israeli Ron. That is the face of a man who has the nuts and has been raised. Double checks the cards. Yep, you got it, Ron. You got the nuts. All you can eat. Ron goes all you can all eat. All in from Israeli Ron. Drew can never fold this hand. Let me think about this for one second. Jack off. He calls you. <coughs> what a hand. $9,300 pot for Israeli Ron. Drilling the gutter on the river against the second nuts. Unbelievable Israeli run crushing it. That's brutal. Mm. Uh, 4, what can I do? I can't anyway, could I? No, you guys, no. I mean, that was a perfect. If I had to 10, I don't make it to the river, I'll be honest. Because, you, you know, somebody hit a gut shot, so it's like yeah. you can't put yeah. them. You, you just can't put them on the gut so shot. And I tell him, you may be putting them on pocket jacks. Yeah. Wow. I didn't see this. Of course, I you have to I call. I thought I played no, it in my head. I, 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 I thought I had the nuts. I didn't get it straight. That was the first one. Yeah, you can't. You have to make that call. You can't kiss all the pretty girls. We didn't try. $9,300 pot for us, really, Ron. A sick, sick hand. And Ron, now the second biggest winner tonight, up 1900 I wake up every day to make the opposite option possible. I do not go to the gym, and I play poker. I do it every day. You know you can do both, right? You only have a finite of energy every day. and And I prefer... Pocket queens for Lynn, pocket sevens for Mark. Mark's going to three bet sevens, interesting. And Lynn with queens. Lynn's had a lot of big hands. Abe's going to lay down the ace 10. Jamie with 10 9 suited in the button straddle. And he folds. And Lynn's going to just call with queens here. 
And not a flop that anybody likes to see here. Ace, King, Jack. Mark knows he can't win. Lynn not happy about this flop. Mark going to bet 300. And for this size, I think Lynn calls. But now Mark knows that he's behind. Ooh, the turn's a 10. And now Lynn has it. But Mark can actually... You know, rep this if he wants to. If he thinks that Lynn doesn't have a queen that often and that Lynn's going to fold like an, an ace, he could go for it. He does check back. And if Lynn checks this river, I would expect Mark to go for it. But I think Lynn's going to bet because she thinks that Mark has a hand when he three bets pre and bets flop, checks back turn. He's going to have a lot of ace X hands. And yeah, Lynn bets takes it down. Roy's going to buy an 8,000 as the game was has been uncapped, 5, 10, 20. The game changed about halfway through the show. JJ with pocket kings. That's a good hand to raise in the button. Jamie with ace queen and Sticky Rice with ace king. Oh, wow. Bad timing here for Sticky Rice, potentially. JJ playing his first hand. Finally picks up the goods. Pocket kings. Abe's whispering in his hand, hey, put in the four bet if you got it. Did you get your money right away? How's JJ going to play it? He knows Sticky Rice has been snug. He's not going to mess around. And he makes it 770. And JJ actually just added on 200. Do you have other chips behind or something? No, this is 1,000. Or you have more chips coming? No, that's 2,000? Yeah. What? He didn't want to pay the tax. And this is going to be bad news for Sticky Rice, potentially. Oh, and he just calls. Uh, a lot of people would shove there. Button versus big blind. But Sticky Rice plays it safe, makes the call. and He could just check fold this flop if it comes brick. Queen eight three easy flop for Sticky Rice to get away from. Sure. This wouldn't be a bad spot for JJ to check. He's got half pot left. It's like what can he really bet here? Three hundred, four hundred, quarter pot. Going for four hundred. Oh no, Sticky Rice does shove all in. Oh no, he just made a misstep. That is twice a. Uh, Misstep from Sticky Rice, and somehow JJ gets paid. $3,700 pot. Sticky Rice needs an ace, and an ace only. They're going to go twice. Oh, he does hit the ace on the second board. Oh, they're going to chop it up. JJ's like, what the hell just happened? How did that happen? How did I not double? How did he shove? What just happened? Chop, chop. Easy game. All right, that's going to do it. As we come to the end, Lynn, the big winner, she ends up uh, up about 7,400. She's in for 2K. We win, yeah. Roy ends up up 2,000. Another win for Roy and Live the Bike in his brief stint here. The final stats is really run. Broke about even. And, uh, yeah, Lynn, the big winner. Sticky Rice down about 1,400. A little comeback at the end. So we have Lynn on, on here up 1,600, but her stats got deleted earlier. So she actually is up 7,400 for the record. Not 1,600. 
And those are the rest of them. Jamie down 4,100. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Check it out tomorrow right here on Live of the Bike.